step four, labels and publishing. So the question I always get is, how do I get a label deal? How do I get a publishing deal? And I answer that question the way I answer any business relationship question, really. And that's if you give somebody else what they want, they will give you what you want. So that brings us to the next question. What do record labels want? Now, record labels make money by selling records. So if you can prove to a record label that you can sell records, then you will get a massive record deal. And that's how I've done it with all of my artists. I rarely go to a record label and try to get a deal before the band is already selling a bucket load of records first. And that's because I get a much better deal when that happens. Now, how do you sell a bucket load of records? Well, what have we been talking about for the last hour? Social media equity. You build up your social media equity, you will sell records in your sleep. It's very, very easy. Now, there's also another way, a more speculative way, of making a label believe that you will eventually be able to sell records. Right? So, if a record label will think that you can sell a lot of records in the future, yeah, they'll sign you early. So... A friend of mine recently signed his artist to a massive independent and and it was a big, big deal here in Australia with an artist that had 100 Facebook likes, no, not even a Twitter account, I don't think, and, and hadn't even really released an EP or anything, just sort of one single. The way they did the press shots, the way they released the song and who featured on the song and how they got it produced and mixed and the publicist they employed and the blogs that they secured made the artist seem really mysterious, really cool, high quality, and the labels got really, really interested because they were like, whoa, what, who is this artist? What's going on here? And then they got a bucket load of offers from around the world with that one song. And it was a really, really interesting strategy they employed, and they pulled it off in an awesome way. But you know what? If it didn't work for them, they would have just gone the social media equity strategy. But that, that actually was something they decided they were going to do early, and they did it, and they nailed it. Right, And we'll break down exactly how he did that at our two-day seminar, which we'll tell you a bit about later.